not all that aesthetic yet pretty interesting from the Luporto mine in the um, uh, Katanga Copper Crescent. Of course the Luporto mine famous for the lovely Krasakala costs which came out of there in the mid 2000s. Um, we have a matrix of uh, uh, dolomite in interspersed with uh, 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 calcite and then sitting on top of these are a uh, cobaltan calcite. I wonder if we, we, we can maybe comfortably say cobaltan dolomite because these cobaltan calcites are not gem at all. They, they're almost pink to grey and uh, uh, perched with them over there you'll see crystals which have um, they, we, we could be talking in terms of primary malachite, even vesignorite in my estimation. Um, also associated on this material, we often find tiny quartz crystals. I don't see any here off the cuff. Um, also, perhaps a little bit of chrysocala. You'll see the white dusting would be chrysocala typically. From a display point of view, um, the specimen lies flat like that, so you'd have it going around like this. So what you would want to do is, is maybe tilt it in. This, this would be the main point of display over here, where you have quite a lot of fruitiness going on. All the way from the Luporto mine in the uh, Katanga Copper Crescent, almost a uh, well, lovely stacking of the, the cobalt and calcite crystals and then, of course, a little dusting of the, the primary malachite of a zignerite, perhaps. Quite lovely.